style that makes the outcome different. And your USP, you have to identify, you have to think that you have to be very sharp on it and you have to bring that in. That makes a difference in the outcome. When there are two candidates up for a scenario, the organization, your selling point, you are not to the selling point. Uh, it's uh, rather your propositions, you know, your differentiator, your decision making points, your influencing points are your USPs. So be very clear on USPs. So I feel these are the some of the uh, area you need to see to not only survive the change, but lead the change. And my suggestion. With your, you know, plan in line with your aspirations. Yeah. So your, as you hold up your career, your aspirations remain same. So plan in line with your aspirations and lead the change. And do whatever functional skill you need to learn. The learning platform is open with LinkedIn, LinkedIn with UDM, yeah, this is an opportunity that you guys have uh, um, uh, and social to you. Can be you. There is hundreds of learnings that you Learn from today, learn from tomorrow. Nobody will come and tell you don't learn this because this is not required right now. You know, robotics is not required right now. Be prepare yourself the way you want to be. But be relevant for today and tomorrow. Yeah? Everybody, was asking how many you want to see you, the number of people will raise their hands. Basically, that is the feature. But there are two things. One is to go to the dream of the CEO. And there is the dream of where you sleep. We will find many times when teachers discuss, sometimes people don't want to come to the class because they are sleeping in the afternoon. So when you did not think like that, you sleep in the afternoon, then it becomes more very large as in some way. You need to really work. To be one step ahead, to be adaptable, you need to be one step ahead. Now, you know, person is very diligent, so I have prepared a lot of questions on. But one question which really we are discussing in the morning wanted uh, the to one thing in the same thing. I was having a lot of people that why is that you have to be in the top in 60s, 70s, 80s? And in India has fallen behind. And this is a very different perspective as to how we have. Do your due diligence. You come to me as 
você vê assim, no 9.5 e só assunto. Quando eu estava convido, eu os dois, ele ia me esforçar. Eu não sei como eu faço, eu não sei como eu sei. 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 Where do you want to go from here? Ten years, five years, fifteen years. And how do you do it? Do you reserve the organization? Today, an IT company might suit me, an IT company might suit me, a telecom company does suit me. If I am very clear about what's that, I don't think that to me, you know, you know, even if you're aspiring for, you know, an IT company. You know, you would love to be someone who asks me questions about the company, tells me what the company you know, wants, that person has learned about the organization. We want to see what you're exactly interested in. And what is your drive that you want to, you know, get that job? We are not looking at students as an organization just to do your job. We want you to build a career. Because if you're not ready to build a career with us, that career you're going to get on this so fast. Your training, you know, survive is a big skill. You become redundant when you get fast. So the other things, there are simple things that I'm just going to cover the examples in the morning. There are students from, you know, tired colleges. They don't even know how to speak English. You know, they would come and tell me, Now, Vana Kathakali, can you tell me about it? And we should work on it. I said, just go ahead. So that's saying, right? You know, I'm really interested when the person was in the party. And I'm thinking for us, I need people who know how to, you know, who know how to, you know, right? Who know how to create me, create you. Now, let me tell you, innovation and creativity does not apply with IT organization. I think it's there across every industry right now. And it's all about how do you think differently, how do you think out of the box, and you know, all those kinds of things. You know, they will speak in their language. You know what they want to convince you. And now, please take it. Second thing, if I ask you a question, you might not know that question, or you do not have the answer right now, or you, you don't know the answer, you know, please make it an effort to tell me. Then, you know, I don't know this thing, but this is something else I know. Can you please explain my capabilities? Can I explain my skills and brain? And can I please tell you what is that I can do you know, in the organization? How I will add value in the organization? I have been in the third, you know, for doing so much research about the company. I know this is where you are, this is how you are expanding, this is what you are for so Students, a lot of companies, you know, are taking students who understand. Yeah, because that's the next feature. You're so much sensitive about, you know, DPI, yeah, yes, yeah. And I've already said, you know, companies would have a separate department, but the new department which is coming up, other than what we hear, I think they have to fill in some, you know, something else, which will be the yes department. And the DPI department, a large organization is already having their department. The focus has changed. So, what is really important to you? Understand culture, drive culture. And very, very important thing, what we engrave within our you know, youngsters, leadership. And leadership has nothing to do with your grades, the grade you are in, the level you are in. Small things, when we hire people one year earlier, like when we work campuses, we take them as interns for one year. That's the rate of the IT. And that's the most of the institutions or can do. We get the one month of induction, let's say your capital market. I'm sure a lot of people say capital market, something around finance, because we're not here for fintech. Now, after that, you know, we are now, we are not going to go for, you know, on the job training, which is not going to be done for us. This is going to be the real process. I don't think we need to make anything wrong. This is not what you are kind of, you know, walking into practice. This is what matters to us. So, grab as many leadership projects, if possible. Two months, three months, you know, small projects, big projects. You know, the more people you learn know, from these projects, it's you know, kind of it. The more you do that, you know, one, one year into shape, then the job is expected for one year. I think, you know, just after one year, this was just one year in the organization. You allow them to mentor the next batch of leaders. You know, what are watching out for? You're watching out for their mentorship skills. You're watching out for leadership skills. This is and they're watching out the culture in that person, right? How does the person interact with the team? 
So I don't remember the fundamentals. So what I say here is that, see what is important is that knowledge in fundamental. I keep repeating that your marks is not what you, there's an entry thing, you know, they just give you entrance in certain discussions, right, certain interviews. But what you really are able to kind of make a change with is how you are able to explain your fundamentals. So be very careful. Please understand your fundamentals well. Understand your application well. Keep asking questions. See, right now you are in a good stage of life where you know you can ask umpteen number of questions to your professors, right? Uh, keep asking them. Keep gaining that knowledge. You know. So I think first is that fundamental, more than marks, that fundamental knowledge and the application of knowledge is important. I would really stress on that. Second is uh, uh, clarity uh, of your answers. You know, what we look for is, uh, we don't expect you to know everything. You know, that's not the point. But when you are implying on whichever, and like she said, that please don't, uh, you know, fool the other person, the other person, on the other side of the table, uh, uh, if, you're, even if you do not know an answer, say you do not know an answer, it's perfect, you are right. But what, if you say you know an area, and you are able to explain that area well, you explain it with a lot of clarity, that is what we look for. So, you know, the second very important thing when I am looking at uh, people, uh, or probable candidates is uh, clarity of thought, how well they are able to if I give them, you know, sometimes when they do not know something, I will give them small cues. Whether they are smart enough to pick up those cues. Right? So, have that clarity of thought. Right? And third is attitude. You know, attitude is also very important. We do uh, kind of, you know, uh, keep an eye on that. Because, um, see, in today's day and time, it is very important that you have, uh, I will figure out, Attitude. You know, many are saying many times, you know, if you ask a question, uh, the answer sometimes is I don't know. If a better answer would be that I don't know that area, but okay, I will be up. I'll try and figure it out. Would we do it this way? You know, then I know you have a thinking mind and you know you are wanting the attitude is right. You know, one of the uh, conceptions, misconceptions that we have, you know, uh, success, many of you, in fact, uh, uh, I'm very happy to hear that you have very good aspirations and very high aspirations. That is a very important thing. Uh, but having said that, you also have to see on the other side, you know, success looks very hungry, dory. You know, it looks, it's a very rosy picture uh, that way. But Success is a lot of threat and, uh, you know, you have to go through a grind here. Uh, you know, there are many other times when you will not be up to it, you know, but you still have to go ahead, you will have to do it, right? There will be many other times when there is a personal issue, there is, you feel like you are really down, but even then you have to keep doing it. So, you know, what we look for, uh, you know, in people is whether they have this attitude to keep doing in spite. If, if you want a normal, you know, uh, ordinary life, it's okay to chill, it's okay to relax. It's perfectly all right, it's a choice. But if you want to be successful, it is very important that you have your priorities and that reality of what you're going to do, right? So, I said, have a plan. It may not be a foolproof plan and there's going to be a lot of changes while you go along the way, you know. But have something which is driving you to move in a direction. Agar, you know, you take a car and you start in the morning and you do not have a direction, you do not have a GPS, you do not have anything. Will you land up anywhere? Do you know where you want to land up? These are very important questions. So I, I saw somebody nodding that we do not know. To find out. You all have a lot of access to information, uh, you know, uh, today, right? So find out what you want to do. It may not be foolproof. You know, maybe find a the like you have to change your path, you have a path. I mean, first and foremost thing, you should have a path to walk clearly. If you are without any direction, uh, chances are that you will 
won't really progress at the speed that you want. Okay. <clears throat> I think, you know, I looked at the watch, it's 12, 25, before I throw it up to all of you. And there was no case study in the flavor of the day, so I thought I had a small mini case study, micro mini case study. You know, uh, we get a lot of companies from the banking and financial services industry. So, there's a case study here that you will have the option either to choose, let's say, a desk job, a job of your know, analyst, which is or a trade analyst job, something back of it, what they call it, trading KYC. What is this? Not a marketing job, but a sales job. Direct selling of mutual fund insurance. So, we'll start with people to tell us. To handle this case study, there is obviously no right or wrong answer. This answer, this is one lakh question I'm giving to all of them. If you get it correct, this will be more than one lakh. And so, listen carefully. And I have not told them before, and they are not in the banking industry, it's a neutral question for them. It's not, it's a neutral, this case study is neutral, but very relevant to you. You hate sales, and I love sales. Today, I didn't love sales 23 years back. Today, I love sales. I feel that's the greatest thing what I can do. But let me hear from these wise people who have spent 15 years, 20 years. So, I am the one who is interviewing. Uh, like, uh, I am sitting for the interview. I thought you advise them. Yeah. But you take a sales job or a back office. Great question. So, um, first of all, you must need to know that what you want. Okay. As uh, at the beginning of the session, you rightly said that it's an arranged marriage. But I think it's a love marriage. You have to identify who is the right guy or right girl for you. How do you do that? First, you have to be self-aware. Which place of area, which department, which uh, function you want to lead. I am sure everybody has gone for internship. I know the first year student is going to go for internships. Whenever you go for internship, I suggest the uh, college to make it mandatory in the project. Two things. Uh, I will divert a bit and then come to the question. I just wanted to add these points. So, two things. One is you should must have the structure of your department. And not only the structure borrowed from the team, but to understand what each role does. Spend that half a day to understand what each role does. If the PPO comes to you, you will know which role you are opting for. If you have a tendency or an easy knack towards recruitment, and recruitment is not coming to you, you have a choice that I will take this PPO or I will wait for the campus recruitment job. Saying this, in the most of the organization, I'll just touch base on the last question which Mohit and Rishi answered also. Most of the organization follows a, um, um, a behavioral event interview process. So look up in Google, understand the process. This process is very relevant right now. Most of the companies are following. This company values a set of competency and the students are evaluated and on those competencies. So, indeed, when you go for your project, you check the company's vision, value, competency, and into your project. Uh, so, like this 160 student can create a pool of competency and you know what organizations and most of the organizations are value. Some of them are process orientation, quality orientation, customer orientation, leadership skill, communication with impact and network. So, I was just touching base on the last one. Now, when I am aware that which kind of role I want to do, on these two interviews, I will first sit and see that which role is suitable to me. And then I will see the brand of the company. I will also see what is the financial of the company. And I will also see what career I can have. If I see the same company who has a sales job, that will take me to the role and to my career. Then I will opt for that. I will also give you a small hack which I do for myself. Whenever I see any CEO's profile, CHR's profile in LinkedIn, I go through the profile in detail to understand their career landscape. And I try to put in relevance in my career landscape. Most of the CEOs, if you go, 
they have started their careers of sales job. Even a very senior promoter, when I say promoters, I say Ambani, Ambani, Isha Ambani, actually come out of the field on reliance retail. I understood that what is the process and what is the sales, what is on ground things are happening. You will not ever give, if you are buying a car and if you are appointing a driver, you will not give someone who doesn't have taken the car up, but they have gone to the best of the best. So always prefer, as you go up on your career, always prefer to have known their um, field work very well. You should start early on field work in your career because first of all you have the energy. You have the energy to go in field and you know, stay in the sun for eight hours a day. As you grow older, the energy you will not have the energy. And you will know the anomalies of the business on the very first time. If it's come to my choice and my yes, if it has come to my choice and my suggestion, I will always suggest go for the sales job. Don't judge a job by its infrastructure, but the whole character. Yeah. Same question. Sales job versus back office. Are you feeling hungry? Yeah. All of you? Yeah. That is good. You should always have the hunger. A burning hunger in your stomach to learn more, to do more. And I think one of the people who say, why do you get the job? Or why do you take any equality? Believe me, it would help you in the long run. Nowadays, So, Kevin culture for The next thing which is coming, Kevin is going to get out. That means you are growth specific, not business specific. It is up to you. You want to be the CEO of your role or you want to be the chaplaincy of your role. You have to do it again, do it properly. It's not about sales or non-sales. Everyone is doing sales. I want my internal customers, I want my external customers. My group requires me to deal a lot with stationary operating. What am I doing? I'm selling to them. I want my so ideal company to you. Uh, Momita, can you take this up? Yeah, so I think you to keep it really brief. So I think when you're taking such decisions, I see hardship is something which you have to, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's always difficult in its own ways, you know, every job has its own challenges. But I don't think that is the parameter for decision. Uh, the parameter should be what is your inner calling, what do you like doing? And sales, it's a sales job. Uh, the end is job is a sales job. You know, we all kind of tell something or the other, uh, uh, you know, opposite person. Don't take that as a parameter of decision. If that's a career that you uh, require as a you know a, a particular round, you have to climb. See, you are basically uh, climbing your career ladder. So if that's a round you have to, and you get the best earnings while doing it. See, the difficulty is if you are banking on other people to get your learning and not getting it first hand. Then, you know, your learning is not, like she said, you will not give a driver, you will not give your car to a person who is not driven the car. So, if, you know, that is important that, you know, uh, uh, having a flavor of knowing uh, what it takes to sell, that is important. So, I will go with sales or side drop. I was telling you that side drops also are challenging, but that's where you have the biggest learning as an engineer. I think uh, a lot of exciting factors, being a guest job, sales job, 
in on the table. I mean, uh, what Rice decides, I think most of the people would say, you know, it's the room, it's the comfort, it's not the heat and the furniture outside. I just have a very small say that that anything which looks very comfortable you will not take a long break. Right. That's the most important. And you know, anything which is easy does not, you know, you know, prepare you for the worst things in life. So please, you know, look out for the harder things. You know, you, you know, their comfort someone might just, you know, your manager might just say, you know, we have a scratch situation, who's going to go for it? You know, those nightmare people would not go for it. You know, who would be kind of, you know, the most prominent guy in the industry, the 10% you know, who would go for it. So we we'll say, I'll take up challenge, take up challenge, take up hardship, take up challenge. It's always said, you know, I call it one person. If you can do that one person, you are anyway, you know, rising up a set. So please, you know, uh, don't settle for things which are comfortable, don't settle for things which are easy. I think Vishti gave us a very explicit answer, and she reminded me of the principle to everything which I told in the class. He said, Aram Shabh Ram Ne Shupa Hai, Aram Dharam Hota Hai. So, you know, it is at your age, don't look for this back office, desk jobs, where you'll be only sitting at a retention room. Opt out, tell your person later, you just have to go to I don't want to go to Bombay place and say, send me to Bahia, sir. Dear, please, please. That is the answer you are going to do. That is discomfort, that is the level of fear, then you will go to Bombay place. Let's not start our career, let's go to Bombay. That's also my takeaway. I think before we pick up to them, we have you know, just a very interesting session. And I found it's almost 12 40. So before we go, I think this is the agents of NHRBN and the IMK. So I think we should be knowing a bit more about the period. We all love NHRBN and the life members. So there are some slides here. I think we would like to continue the slides. Yeah, it is there. Yeah, one good So why is it good up? <coughs> Is there any other any questions? Yes. Yes. Okay. Come, come closer. I can hear you. Oh, this is a mic motion. Hi, my name is Shandu Pandey. I'm from Batch Books. And my question is regarding adaptability. When you talk about the corporate world, we always talk about how it's an external domain for us, right? And being able to adapt in the world is key. With AI coming up, especially technology, it has become difficult. So, when can we just do adaptability start? After we have a mindset that to cultivate that ability or the trait to be able to start adaptability. There was a very good question. Very special question. So, I think Dukur will answer this. She could use that word fairly. When you are okay to handle an ambiguous situation and it steps to take clarity up. Right? That's that's where adaptability comes. If you see a new thing, what it is about, and also intuitiveness, curiosity to understand the thing. To research on it, the more you are informed, that will help on this. So, openness to change, your mind should be open, that fine. I will go for a celebrated part, I'm comfortable with nobody driving my car, but I will take an informed decision. I will be working for this, I will train myself. And then I will be comfortable with the ambiguity and I will figure it out. Every step is important. Being comfortable and figure it out. Answer to the question? Shadul, you want, you'll take it out. So basically, you know, like Shadul, as what the operator said, so you start off with saying what I'm saying, that I don't know anything. That's the best way to start, and then you can end up as a learning thing. Any other question? That's one lady there. So my question is that uh, right now government is looking for uh, for each of drivers in order to in that team we need to be culturally 
intention and sensitive response. So how can we do this? Like how can we turn it for this? How can we inculcate the qualities of See, how in what way once you see the gravity is to be the the first file on right guys the students but once you reach for it now uh, it's like you have invented a lot of models of the you know see from the uh, different institutes have been taken and brought in right uh, so your differentiator would be your uh, like you said your emotional intelligence your uh, perceptive nature uh, see everybody has different agenda everybody has different uh, motivators being able to is that a rule to this not really it is right now to host the right or right to uh, understand the uh, better time be feel better very importantly do not react please respond so whenever there is an issue try and understand the issue try and understand where the person is coming from where the person is reacting this way and then respond to it so that's something which you will learn and you, that's true for life. So you can look all around and you know uh, uh, inculcate this habit. And I would want you to kind of you know, stress quickly on uh, this differentiator. It is very important that you uh, you know are able to establish yourself as a person, uh, a, not one among the not one of the many. You know, you have to differentiate yourself. People should be wanting go to you and speak and you know they are you are a solution provider. So you know these are things which you will learn. Just be mindful about it. Yeah. As you rightly said, the it starts from life, as Monita said. Acknowledging that everybody is different and being kind and respectful to that difference. That always helps in life. In it is not so that is one point I to Thank you. All the time you have been able to 